Hey everyone, Kibler here. If you are not already, be sure you click that subscribe button, press the bell, get the dings, because you don't want to miss any of the sweet decks that I'm bringing your way, including this one, which is really a, a classic for this channel and uh, me in my life in general. It is Dragon Paladin. Uh, I am someone who loves a dragon and loves a mid-range deck, and that's exactly what we have here today. Uh, I actually tried a bunch of different versions of Dragon Paladin, uh, a number of which you will see uh, in these videos, and uh, I, I tried various forms of more proactive, aggressive sorts of Paladin decks uh, using like Sanguine Soldier and uh, for Kel'Thalas, uh, a lot of the sort of more aggressive tools, uh, and found that I didn't really didn't really like them. I felt like if I was playing dragons, I wanted to lean more heavily on uh, sort of the mid-range and later game stuff and didn't get as much value out of uh, having the the earlier sort of board presence game plan um, and decided that I wanted to focus on uh, being able to take advantage of you know what the dragons do very well, which is take over in the, the middle of the game. The mid and late game is where uh, the Dragon Paladin is, is quite powerful, uh, with Daring Drake and Time Warden in particular being hugely impactful in that sense, uh, and looking to uh, more pretty much just just have a stable early game uh, where you're you know using your Knight of Anointments and uh, Battle Vicar Bannerman and uh, Amber Whelp to sort of control the early board and not get overrun and have uh, quality city tax to fall back on rather than the more proactive stuff. Uh, and that was really the one of the major things was that I, you know, I sort of had the realization that a lot of this early game stuff was never going to get me ahead of the early game aggressive decks that exist like Imp Warlock it just wasn't enough, right? They were able to use their removal and, and get in the board much more effectively than I was. And if I did not have a board reset like a quality city tax, uh, you know, I was just putting myself into a really, uh, really difficult position against them. Uh, and I also sort of had the realization that I wasn't going to beat stuff like Frost Death Knight by overrunning them quickly because they have such powerful ways uh, to deal with uh, the board, like Howling Blast. And then once they get to the, the middle and late game, uh, Frost Storm's Fury. Uh, and I decided, well, how I'm going to beat them is by carry yelling and healing out of range of their burn. And uh, one of the big things that uh, the, the version that I ultimately ended up with uh, can do is it uses order in the court to ensure that you're getting to carry out and then also ensures that you're finding your Amber Watchers. And this is kind of a card that hasn't really seen a lot of play. Uh, I mean, frankly, many of the Dragon Paladin cards have not, but this has been around for longer. Um, but being able to heal for eight is a pretty big deal connected to a body that can sometimes also get Divine Shield and, uh, and Taunt thanks to Time Warden. Uh, and you know the the major element that it's that it's doing is just surviving against the, the the burst damage that's coming from Frost Death Knight, which is extremely extremely uh, high amount of damage. But with Cariel and all this additional healing, it's almost impossible for them to burn through it unless they get a really really powerful early game that you can't deal with. Uh, and then on top of all of this, you know you have sort of this attempt to stabilize in the early game against aggressive decks, and then this really powerful mi mid game, you have Kazakasan. And Kazakasan, especially the ability to sometimes even get multiple copies of Kazakasan if you really do need it, thanks to all of the Dragon Discovers that you have from Amalgam and from Bronze Explorer, really puts you in just a, a really powerful position to go toe to toe uh, with control decks like Blood Death Knight. Uh, so there's a lot of really strong elements to, uh, to this deck. And, you know, like I said, uh, as a, a dragon and mid-range aficionado, it is certainly one after my heart, and I hope that you enjoy it too. So, Dragon Paladin. Uh, Order in the Court, I just don't really like Order in the Court as a card. I do think it's powerful and I probably should be playing it. Like, the thing is, I feel like a lot of what I'm looking for is, is like, if you're not using Order in the Court um, to get, like, uh... Um, if you're not using Order in the Court to get um, Light Rays, you end up being in sort of a weird position where it's tempo negative basically every time. And I feel like the deck wants to play, and that, the big reason I wanted to, to move this from being like control was that I felt like the, the tempo cards did not perform, or that the control cards did not perform. Okay. With every step, the light guides you. Let the dead rest! A lot of streamers dislike the Reddit on there. What do you think about it? I think that it's generally a good thing. 
I think that, um... I think that Renathal, being as powerful as it was, made lots of aggressive strategies not really viable. I think that you're more likely to have a higher diversity of decks with Renathal being somewhat weaker. For the Alliance and my family. Hmm. Oh, the Cariel. Um. Hmm. May the light grant you peace. A good explorer comes prepared. for the Mario movie. I do not really care about the Mario movie. <laughs> I'm not like a huge Mario fan or anything. It looks like it could be all right, but the thing is, one of the weird things about Renathal is that the existence of Renathal makes it so that like you can, you, it is difficult to play a control deck that isn't a Renathal deck because you will just lose to control decks that are Renathal decks. I mean, they're drawing extra card, but this deal of blood, okay. okay. They they could have attacked and played the seal of blood for one less and made a guy. That is a big old warden. Yeah, that guy is no longer a peasant. That guy became actually a king among among men. Okay, well, the hold the bridge looking real good here. So they have what? Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're actually shy of being able to. Wait. So we have. Hold on. I can double Kelfloss too. So this is 15, 16, oh, they're dead. We just one shot. <laughs> <laughs> they went in, they went out. Damn. All right, um, I think I'm just gonna keep carry out. It's great against Frost and it's great against, um, Blood. I really sick your first day vacation. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm glad I can at least provide you with some respite from that. With every step. I think I want this Blessed Goods. We could go for a weapon, the Vine Shield Minion. Any exciting plans for the holidays? Not doing anything. <laughs> Not doing anything is pretty exciting for me. With every step, the guides you. The luck might be blood. I'm gonna take the Vine Toll. Just kidding. Oh boy. Um. Okay, so they copied three things. <clears throat> there were ancestral kibble gatherings in New England slash Idaho. Well, my family hasn't lived in Idaho since like I was two. Um, my dad still lives in Connecticut. Um, so it's obviously pretty far. My brother's in the West Coast now as well, so it is a, a bit of a trek. <laughs> like 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Turn six. They just triple glacial advanced me and literally killed me turn six from 30. Well, that was something. I'm gonna keep Cariel and the Vicar. Who's the puppy? This is Oko. I just like started feeling like very like stuffy and kind of having a headache. Uh oh. I got my flu shot on like Monday? I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think that would get after effects at this point, but maybe. It did go out last night. We went to. Olivia and I got invited to the command zone, uh. the command zone holiday party at this barcade. It was a lot of fun. It is five days since my commander party, it's true. I hope I'm not sick. Not for Christmas! I don't really want to damage myself, but on the other hand... I don't think any of these other th these are going to do anything. Maybe Reckoning? This is good with, with Bronze Explorer. Did I play at the commander party? I played my new Ishin deck. It was a lot of fun. I do have a bunch of home COVID tests, so I can just take a home COVID test. Just in case. We do basically just want to play Cario. Um, I don't want to cast Order in the Court. I already have the Cario. Um, I'd love to draw Fright Flight of the Bronze to go with this, too. Who here can spell Ooh, school teacher. Anybody? Okay. You don't see that in that many of them. Oh my god. Off strike. Just equality city tax here. Interesting. We could we could equality city tax. Order in the court draws us Kazaka Sun. It starts drawing us Amber Watchers. Time Warden Amalgam is fine, but I very likely want to coin Cariel, which makes the uh, the Time Warden a lot less useful there. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Like I, I really want to get the Cariel in play. Hey, Darsons with. The four months. So we draw Anachronos next. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So now we're effectively 40 something for them to kill. Although, they can ping me one at a time with this, so... Um, but then, specifically, a big part of why I wanted to play the Order in the Court was not that we're hitting Kazakus on Anachronos, but now we're drawing Amber Watchers, right? We have a 50% to turn on Amber Watcher next turn. Or Nixian Order. Mm -hmm. 
Do we do an Ixian Warder? We could just an Ixian Warder, Seal of Blood, one of the guys, kill this. I think we do that. So yeah, Amber Watchers. We're two out of two out of three times we draw Amber Watcher next turn. Sure. And even if we don't, we have uh, Time Warden into Guy. Yep. So we will play Time Warden into Amber Watcher. That is indeed just in time. Yeah, Astalor is super good against Carrie, uh, uh, but they haven't played any phases of Astalor yet, at least. Third Frostworm's Fury, sure. So we still have this active here. I mean, we could just play a 12-12 because -12 Akasan with Divine Shield and Taunt. I think that is indeed exactly what I do. Hey, where's my Divine Shield and Taunt? The Citadel stands uh -huh. So, there are three Frostworm's Furies in. Yep. I am frozen. Yep. Yep. You are a practiced soldier. You have been... Not dead yet. All right. Well, so far, Amber Watcher has been fantastic. Amber Watcher is absolutely saving us just in time.